Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class is we're going to find the roots of the following polynomial equations and we are also told to determine the number of multiplicity. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So for number 1 class, to find the roots of this given equation, so quantity x plus 3, quantity x minus 2, quantity x plus 1, and quantity x minus 1, very easy class, just equate your equation into 0 plus. So for number 1, we have x plus 3 equals 0. And the other one, we have x minus 2 equals 0. And we have x plus 1. So just equate this one plus into 0. x plus 1 equals 0. And the other one, x minus 1 equals 0. Now when you equate this one in zero, into 0, you find the value of x. Just simply transpose this 3 from left to right. Or transfer this 3 from left to right. Once you transfer from, from from this equal sign, you change the sign plus. This is positive. It will be negative 3. In this one, transpose, transfer negative 2 from left to right. This is negative. It will be positive 2. Same with 1. Transfer this one. This is positive 1. It will be negative 1. And this is negative 1. Transfer this one. It will be positive 1. So that's the answer class. Very easy, right? But actually class, no need for the solution. If you have this one class, just remember this, this one. If this is positive, your answer will be negative. So this will be x equals negative 3 for the roots. And this is negative, your answer will be positive 2. And for x, this is positive 1, your answer will be negative 1. And the other one, your answer will be x equals positive 1. So just remember that one class, if this is positive, your answer for the roots will be negative. This is negative, your answer for the roots will be positive. But if your the teacher will ask you to, to provide the solution, this will be your solution class. So for the number of multiplicity, for number 1, we don't have the multiplicity class. Because we don't have a roots, okay, we don't have a root. So we don't have roots that is actually repeating for number 1. So the answers are different for number 1. So we don't have a root which is actually repeating or we don't have roots that are repeating. So we don't have multiplicity for number 1. So let's try number 2. So we have x equals, so this is positive 5, we have negative 5. And this is negative 5, we have positive 5. This is positive 5, we have negative 5, and we have negative 1, our answer will be positive 1. So, this will be the roots of this number 2. So, once again, if this is negative positive 5, your answer will be negative 5. If this is negative 5, your answer will be positive 5. If this is positive 5, your answer will be negative 5. This is negative 1, your answer will be positive 1. Now, check class. Do we have a roots? which are repeating roots which are repeating do we have class repeating roots yep we have x minus 5 and x uh, sorry x equals negative 5 and x equals negative 5 so therefore we can apply the multiplicity we can write this one as negative 5 or x or we can just simply write plus negative 5 is a root okay let me just write it in black class so if you have multiplicity class repeating roots so you can write this one as negative 5 is a root of multiplicity multiplicity 2 so you count how many numbers or how, how many times that negative 5 re is repeating so we have two times so we have negative 5 is a root of multiplicity 2 so that's how you answer class for multiplicity Alright, so that's the answer for number 2. So this is the answer for number 2. Alright, so let's try number 3. So number 3. So for number 3, we have x plus 4 squared. So therefore, it means x plus 4, then multiplied by x plus 4. So therefore, you have two answers for x plus 4. So x plus 4 and then x plus 4, then x minus 3. So you can write this one as x minus 3, then x minus 3, then x minus 3. 
equal 0. So x plus 4 squared, it means you multiply this x plus 4 by itself twice. And x minus 3 cubed, it means you multiply this x minus 3 by itself three times. So your answer class, you can just have one answer for x plus 4 because you will have the same answer. So you can write this one as x equals, this is positive, equals negative 4. Okay, so x equals negative 4 or if you want individually, go ahead. We can write this one as x equals negative 4, then x equals negative 4, then this one, this is positive, negative 3, it will be x equals 3, positive 3 x equals 3, then x equals 3. And then you can write the multiplicity. You can have this one as negative 4. So negative 4 is a root of multiplicity. So you check class how many times that 4 multiplicity. This is multiplicity. Okay, wrong spelling. This is multiplicity. So multiplicity, then how many times that negative 4 is repeating? So we have 2 times. 1, then 2. Multi multiplicity 2. And for 3, so we can write this one as 3, is a root of multiplicity, multiplicity 3. So it is repeating 3 times. 1, 2, 3. So that's the answer class for number 3. Easy, right? For number 3. Alright, so for number 4. So you pause the video class. I will be erasing this part for numbers 1 and 2. Or let me write it here. Okay, can we write it here? Yep. Let's check. We have enough space for number 4. Yep, we, we still have enough space here. So for number 4, we have x. So this one, equate x into 0. So we have x equals 0. And we have, okay, let me just write the answer right away. So, or you can, this is x minus 3, 4 times, so x, then x minus 3, then x minus 3, x minus 3, then x minus 3, then x, x plus 6 squared, this will be x plus 6, then x plus 6. So, let me just write the answer here, class. We don't have enough space here. Or we can write... Okay. Okay, let me just write it here. Or here, class, here. We don't have enough space, class. So let me erase this one. Okay. So this will be... So our answer for number 4, we have x equals 0. Then we have x minus 3. Since this is minus, your, our answer for x will be x equals 3. So, our answer for the roots will be positive plus. This is negative 3, it will be positive 3. So, x minus 3 equals 0. To get the value of x, transpose this one. x equals, this is negative, it will be positive 3. So, we have 4, x plus 3. I'm oh, no, sorry, x equals 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, x equals 3, x equals 3, x equals 3. And for positive 6, we have two negatives. So x equals negative 6 and x equals negative 6. So for multiplicity, we can write this one as... So for 0, 0 is not repeating. So for 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3 is a root of multiplicity multiplicity then count how many times the 3 is repeating 1 2 3 4 4 and for negative 6 so negative 6 is a root of multiplicity multiplicity then 2 all right so that's it class for multiplicity so for number 5, let's try number 5 class. So let me raise this one. You pause the video class for number 3. I will be raising number 3. I hope you understand class for the multiplicity. So for number 5, so x squared minus x 
equals 9. We can write this one as x times x. Because x times x plus, there would be... What is x times x plus? That's correct. x times x, there would be x squared. x times x, then x minus 9 equals 0. So, we can equate this one individually. So, we have x equals 0. The other one. So, equate this one. x equals 0. And this one x equals 0 so x again equals 0 and this one x minus 9 equals 0 so to get the value of x transpose 9 from left to right this is x equals this is negative it will be positive 9 so we have 1 0 2 so two zeros then one positive 9 so we can write this one as 0 is a uh, root of multiplicity 2. Alright, that's it class. So that's how you solve or to find the equations of 0 or to find the roots and determine the number of multiplicity. So I hope you learned something new today class. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.